All right, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you in Jesus. Mighty, mighty, mighty name. I'm gonna get things set up on the back end of the stream. I'm gonna ask uh, Brother Simone, uh, if you will uh, share anything the Lord may have placed on your heart and open us up in prayer this morning. Uh, would you do that, please, sir? Yes, sir. Let's have a go to pray. Heavenly Father, I bow my heart in front of you for this beautiful day and beautiful morning. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Give us a day and we praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus, all things. And thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful Bible studies. And thank you all as join us. And we pray God will lead us. And we get all things through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory be to God. I hope everyone is having a most excellent Tuesday. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord. Setting things up in the back end of the chat. Uh, please, as you come in, go ahead and click on that like button. That helps get the stream out through the algorithm. Hallelujah. And go ahead and put a one in the chat. And that'll allow me to know that you are here so that I call your name out in prayer as we end the Bible study um, later on. My, 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 my happy new month. Happy new month to you. Ooh, we the Lord is good. We have made it through yet another month. Ooh, danger seen and unseen. My, 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 many of us received some breakthrough, some blessings, some things uh, that we were believing God for. All right, many of us got... Um, some clarity. Ooh. Many of us uh, move forward in some areas. All right. So it's so important, even if it's only 1% progress, that every day, every day, every day, you are moving forward in God. Ma, 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 forward in your goals. See, everybody wants the breakthrough, but nobody wants to actually break through. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So we have to do our part. We have to be steadfast. Ooh, can you be, can you continue to move forward, to put forth effort, all right, in accordance with God's word, to get to your goals? My, 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 God is going to use you to defeat Satan. Lord have mercy. Sheila, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, Dorothy, God bless you, God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, LG, God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we've got, we just heard from Brother Shamoon, 
God bless them. Uh, and we also have Precious in the Zoom chat. Let's go ahead and get started on today with our declarations. Jesus is my Lord. I believe God the Father raised his son Jesus from the dead. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover my family, my friends, my associates, co-workers, and supervisors and managers in the blood of Jesus. I cover my physical property, my intellectual property, my technological property in the blood of Jesus. I cover my homes, my cars, my jobs, my businesses, my finances, and all my money in the blood of Jesus. Jesus' blood has redeemed me from the curse of the law. I am redeemed from sin, poverty, and sickness. Jesus' blood has bought me with a price. I am God's property. Satan, take your hands off God's property in Jesus' name. Take your hands off my body in Jesus' name. Take your hands off my mind in Jesus' name. Take your hands off my money in Jesus' name. Take your hands off my family, friends, and associates in Jesus' name. Leave now and never return in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. All right, I just feel led. Y'all need to be saying this. So you need to be saying this out loud. I renounce and denounce Satan and all his works. I renounce and denounce the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. I renounce and denounce every evil covenant, contract, pact, deal, truce, and agreement with Satan's kingdom on my mother's side, on my father's side, of all mentors and parental figures, all the way back to Adam and Eve. All right, I see Prophetess Deborah in the chat. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Every demon, evil spirit, and any human spirit is actual projecting in Jesus' name. I bind you and rebuke you. Leave now and never return in Jesus' name. Spirit of infirmity. Ooh, every Christian is going to have to defeat the spirit of infirmity if they want to stand here want to stay on earth spirit of infirmity leave my body now right now and never return in jesus name unclean spirits leave my body and never return in jesus name disease leave my body and mind and never return in jesus name the name of jesus belongs to me jesus is mine i am in christ christ is in me the hope of glory that's why healing belongs to me. That's why prosperity belongs to me. Thank you, Father God, for canceling all unnecessary meetings and activities and redeeming the time in Jesus' mighty name. I decide that my personality and my emotions are compatible with the fruit of the spirit, which is the God kind of love, joy, peace, long suffering, and uh, all, oh, excuse me, long suffering, also known as patient endurance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and uh, self control. I do not participate in any feelings or behaviors that are contradictory to God's word. I continuously thank God for his promises. Therefore, I have great peace, and nothing can offend me, upset me, or trigger me, or cause me to stumble. Ooh, I see danger in all evil. I see danger in evil in all its forms while it's still far off and avoid it and prevent myself from being in toxic situations. All right. So uh, you've got to forgive everybody for everything they ever did to you. All right. But that does not mean that you have to be best friends with them. That don't mean that you have to remain in a toxic environment. All right, uh, there is a term called loving someone from a distance. Ooh it may be important to reduce contact in order to reduce conflict. Ma, 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 ma. He asked the Lord how to do that and be led in his direction. Jesus is my peace of mind.
has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. I maintain my peace, no matter how bad situations, conditions, and people treat me or others. I do not allow others' bad decisions to steal my joy. When faced with adversity, I appeal to the court of heaven for God to rectify the situation, change hearts, minds, and thought processes. I cover the blood in my blood vessels in the blood of Jesus. All right. Almost every day in the news, somebody is dropping uh, to the floor with a blood clot. All right. We cover our blood in our blood vessels in the blood of Jesus. We cover our blood vessels with the blood of Jesus. I cover my bodily systems, organs, tissues, cells, DNA, and RNA in the blood of Jesus. I cover my bank accounts, credit union accounts, investment accounts, cryptocurrency accounts, crypto wallets, all my logins, users' names, and passwords in the blood of Jesus. All my investments prosper, grow, and expand for the good, increasing exponentially, paying me interest, rewards, reflections, and dividends in Jesus' mighty name. Satan, take your hands off my relationships with my family and friends in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of poverty, leave my life right now and never return in Jesus' name. Lack, leave my bank account and never return in Jesus' name. Imposter syndrome, leave my life and never return in Jesus' mighty name. Familiar spirits, leave my life and never return in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for witty ideas, inventions, and new streams of income in Jesus' mighty name. Let's say it again. Thank you, Father God, for witty ideas, inventions, and new streams of income in Jesus' mighty name. One more time. Thank you, Father God, for witty ideas, inventions, and new streams of income in Jesus' mighty name. All right, so the majority of the jobs out there are not going to pay you enough money for you to become independently wealthy. If they paid you what uh, you produced, meaning a, a good share of the profits you produce, you would no longer need to work for them. So you're going to need new ideas, new ways that are legal and moral to generate more income, to earn more money, and we have access to all God's wisdom and understanding. All right, so we're asking him to tell us what we need to do to bring in more money. The blessings Abraham had, including financial prosperity, perpetual healing, peace of mind, protection, joy, and long life are mine through faith in Jesus Christ. Excuse me, by stripes I'm healed. Finish work. Faith is powered by the God kind of love. Father God, please forgive me of all my sins and wrongdoing. I forgive everyone for everything they ever did to me in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, please help everyone I have offended or harmed to forgive me so that they do not go to hell for unforgiveness caused by a trauma that I created in Jesus' mighty name. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I do not pollute my body. I do not drink coffee, caffeine, or intake any other substance that initiates the flight or fight response causes anger, rage, anxiety, mental illness, insomnia, dehydration, migraines, or is harmful to my health or causes my organs to fail. All right, you're having, if you're fighting road rage, if you get upset quickly, you have a, a hot temper, cut out that caffeine, cut it out. I read the labels on food products and research every food, drink, pharmaceutical drug, supplement or substance before I put it in my body researching its positive benefits 
and negative side effects. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Satan cannot steal my joy. Therefore, he can't keep my money, wealth, and revenue from me. God bless you. God bless you. Happy God bless you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, money cometh. Come on, come on, come on. Money cometh to me now. Money cometh to me now in Jesus' name. Ooh, you got to keep saying that until the money's in your hand or until the money's in your bank account. Ooh, if any of you had a dog uh, before, you, you told a dog to come here. You said, here, Fido, or whatever the name of the dog was, and nobody told you, well, you lying. The dog ain't here. You will call in the dog in. You got to call the money in. Ma, 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 ma. I break all generational curses in Jesus' mighty name. One more time, the name of Jesus belongs to me. Jesus is mine. I am in Christ. Christ is in me, the hope of glory. That's why healing belongs to me. Prosperity belongs to me. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and go to Psalm 91. Very important chapter. We need to be reading this upon awakening, definitely before you leave the house. If you, uh, you know, if you go to work at a different time, you definitely want to read it before you go to work. Many people are dying at the job. Not us, though. Not us. All right. And then before you go to bed. All right. Many of the, uh, I believe those nightmares will stop. Those uh, evil nighttime events will stop. Read this passage out loud. Uh, as we come in, please go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you put a one in the chat. And if you know that you have a detailed prayer request, go ahead and put that in now. Uh, I'll call your name out uh, at the end of our service today. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Are you saying it out loud with me now? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Sure that he will you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, administrative account. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, 
we're now going to step three, uh, the Lord's Prayer. Um, and we're going to discuss the Lord's Prayer uh, and testimonies that have come out of the Lord's Prayer. I have a new one to share with you today. But I want to go uh, over an old faithful. So this um, testimony was first uh, published, to my knowledge, by uh, the man of God, Pastor Whitfield Harrington of the Prayer City of Chicago. Uh, I'll do my best to paraphrase and summarize this testimony. Uh, but if you want to hear it the way he says it, you're going to have to hear it directly from him. And then after that, we'll get to uh, the testimony that just came in uh, to this ministry. So um, there was a uh, aunt whose uh, nephew, nephew uh, had autism, uh, severe autism, uh, could not, uh, you know, conversate. Uh, I hope that's the right way to say that. Or is it converse? I think it's converse could not hold a uh, conversation, all right? Could not say more than a few words uh, or put together, you know, complex ideas. So this aunt got a picture uh, of the young boy child and uh, began to uh, pray the Lord's Prayer over that picture, you know, as a point of contact. Uh, she did this uh, about 500 times, okay? And, uh, of course, that takes a long time to do, uh, but she did what it took. Uh, she had uh, a vision, okay? Um, and I'm not sure if it was more than one vision or not, but the vision, I believe, it was more than one. However, the, the final vision uh, concerning this issue she saw the young uh, male child inside what looked to be some kind of glass container. And according to the testimony, the Lord told her to break the container. And so in this vision, uh, she did that. And the, uh, the young male child in the vision was now free. Now, outside of the vision, within um, a short period of time, the the nephew, he had convinced his mother. Now, hear what I said. He convinced his mother to call his aunt. The aunt picked up, and he began to have a full conversation with him, with her. Excuse me. He had a full conversation with her, the aunt. All right? So, in other words, he was delivered, all right, from the uh, specter, the hold, the grip, the grasp of what we call autism today. Now we notice in the Lord's Prayer, one of the main prayer points is what? Deliver us from evil. So if there's anything going on in your life that is not good, all right, that thing is evil. And we are seeking God for deliverance from it. Now let me go ahead and talk about the testimony that just came into the ministry. Um, and uh, this is from the Lord's Prayer uh, video that I have. I'm gonna put that uh, in the chat. And I wanna let you all know, I mean, the Lord's Prayer uh, pretty much fixes everything. I mean, that's it. if you're needing things to be fixed, I would add that to your repertoire. I'm looking for my uh, link. I want to put that in the description here. Uh, one second. Uh, definitely watch this after um, we finish today. I'll go ahead and pin this comment. See, the Lord's Prayer fixes just about everything. Uh, okay, I just sent that. And how do I pin this comment? There we go, pin the comment. Give me one second to get this uh, set up here. Uh, 
All right, all right. And then I'll go over that testimony that should be on your screen now. Okay, and let's, um, all right, let's go ahead and read this. So this is from Jane. Uh, she said, this is a powerful prayer. I, I have been playing it all night long while I sleep and I pray every opportunity I get when I'm awake. Did you notice that? She prays every opportunity when she's awake. I've witnessed blessings, uh, healing. Although my favorite aunt went home to be the Lord, that's still a blessing and healing because there's no sickness in Jesus and to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. So I thank her for sharing that testimony, but we're going to continue reading. I just want to be clear. I want my healing now. <laughs> I'm not going to need it when I get to heaven, but we can be thankful that there is no sickness in heaven. Um, now, I, I uh, wrote back my condolences about your aunt. I'm glad you have witnessed blessing and healing in your life. Can you share some of the blessing or healings you have experienced? Uh, and then I say it's best to read people healing scriptures at least an hour a day when they are fighting sickness. Also, uh, praying this prayer over them, a picture of them or while holding them in your mind an hour a day is a good way to minister healing to them as well. All right, so she responds back. Uh, I have received an unexpected financial windfall. I received an unexpected financial windfall. Did y'all see that? Uh, my sister had congestive heart failure. Listen to this now. She died, but was revived. I, I've told you over and over again. I want you to say it with me. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ belongs to me. Come on. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ belongs to me. It belongs to you physically uh, it, concerning your life. It belongs to you um, physically concerning being healed. It, it belongs to you in your finances. Every area of your life, you have access to the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Ma, 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 Lord have mercy. All right, spent only one day in a medically induced coma and was talking the next day. I strongly believe this is not only, uh, this not only bless and covers me, but also those who are connected to me. Did you hear that? But also those who are connected to me. All right, so I responded, um, hallelujah to Jesus. Thank God for unexpected financial windfall. Prosperity belongs to us. Somebody say prosperity belongs to me. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank God your sister was revived. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ belongs to us. Come on. I want you to say it. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ belongs to me. Thank you, Jesus. And then I asked her, uh, has your sister transitioned to a vegan diet? The multivitamin, separate B12, um, ground flaxseed, meal, chia seed, tomatoes, watermelon, and hawthorn berry. Okay, so again, I believe in faith and works, all right? Believing God, um, reading the scriptures that promise you what you want, and then doing the necessary things that the body needs or that the job search requires, all right? And of course, I've got to say, uh, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice, and it's not intended as a replacement for licensed professional care, all right? And then uh, let me get my other, my other disclaimer in here. Uh, this information, these statements that I'm making, I promise you, these have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, uh, and it's not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Ooh -wee. Notice that there's nothing in there about healing. Whoo, my goodness. Why is that? Because healing belongs to me. 
I need you to say it like you mean it. Healing belongs to me. So you've got to know that because what is Satan going to try to do? He's going to try to come and steal. He's going to try to come and kill. And he's going to try to come and destroy. But not me. Why? Because the resurrection power of Jesus Christ belongs to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so we're getting ready to say the Lord's Prayer. I want you to say it like you never said it before. I want you to say it with uh, the conviction and understanding that this is the prayer that Jesus gave you to pray. Woo-wee, my goodness. My goodness, I believe, uh, let's see here. I got, uh, I believe I got everybody, um, their names written in the Zoom room so we can get this prayer started. And again, I want you saying it. I want you saying it right there uh, in in the uh, YouTube chat. Let's go ahead and prepare ourselves. All right, I'm gonna get us started off. Our Father, which art in heaven, name thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh, excuse me, by stripes I'm healed. Um, let's see who's next in the in the uh, Zoom chat. Looks like Precious. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, next, we got Brother Shimon. Yes, brother. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is being done is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debtors as we forgive our debtors as and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Um, let's see. Who do we have? Our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Your name. Your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. We can barely, uh, we could barely hear you, Minister Robert. We but we agree with that prayer in Jesus' name. All right, let's go ahead and go to Lakeisha. Are you able to read today? I know you're at work. Uh, able to read. Yes. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Lakeisha uh, calling in from work. Ma, ma, ma. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. All right. It's time for us to move on to step number four. Let's uh, go to the Proverbs of the day. 
Uh, just in case there's someone new listening on today, um, people have gotten very rich with the simple dedication of reading the Proverbs of the day every day. Ooh-wee. What are you dedicated to? So you're dedicated to something. My, 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 Lord have mercy on us. Let's go ahead and get started. I see uh, Prophet Charles is joining us. God bless us. God God bless us because Prophet Charles has joined us, but God bless Prophet Charles in Jesus. Mighty name, thank you for joining us. Uh, Let's go ahead and let's read... um, our Proverbs, today is the first happy new month, happy new month. And this is the first chapter of Proverbs. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning. And a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of your father and take the law of your mother, for they will be grace, they will be a verse nine and moving forward, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains around your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in your lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain, the net is spread in the sight of any bird. but they lie in wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls out loud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses, At the openings of the gates in the city, she speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded because you disdained all my counsel and would not have, let me go back, and would have none of my rebuke. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. 
because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would not have, oh, I keep putting this in modern English, my apologies. Uh, verse 30, they would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. For, for the turning away of the simple will slay them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Ma, 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 ma. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did anybody uh, in the Zoom uh, room have any um, questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like to share? Anybody on in the YouTube chat have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to share about uh, anything we've discussed? Uh, including this passage. All right. All uh, right. I, I would just, this is the first chapter, just to talk about what's in this chapter and how important it is. Uh, this verse, I think, you know, we all need to must include it. I was telling us how important wisdom is and that we need to heed to it. That wisdom is precious, and God feels that if God ever does all He can to help you in a situation, to give you wisdom and knowledge, and to keep you from evil, and that if you don't listen, and that's a detrimental thing, that calamity will come to you, you know, and God will let it come. Like you ever see, like, well, something happened to somebody, like, wow, what, how did that happen? You don't want to get to the point where God is. Oh, you're fading now, Prophet Charles. Um, no one needs to part where we refuse wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge is precious, so we need to treat it as such and, and, and uh, make changes. God will work with us if he, if he sees that we're humble and we, we want to learn, but not just God's wisdom. He also says the instruction of your father and the law of your mother. The things that our parents teach us is, 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 is uh, vital. Uh, and very important. So we, we can't re refuse the, uh, the wisdom and knowledge that our parents give us as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, this was by the 10th verse. By, I was just talking about, about how good company corrupts bad manners. And a lot of kids don't understand it. If you got a bunch of kids, for number one, they're not your friends. So I'm telling you, they're not your friends. But anybody who come to you and say, hey, Christian, or hey, whoever you is, come sin with us. They are not your friends. They're your enemies. You need to run for your life. Because they're telling you to come sin against your own self. They can't do something that the world say fun. If they say come kill somebody, come rob somebody, come rape somebody, come steal from somebody, come get high with us. And if they tell you to come sin with us, tell them no. Uh, tell them no, like, and run. Because what's going to happen is they, they're going to let you, you're going to go with them and whatever demons and spirits is in them to easily get in you. And then you're going to go do what they, you might go do what uh, they do, go do what they do sometimes these days. You don't go do it. You just in the company of them when they did it. And then, but but when, they, when the police get you and get all y'all, they're going to or charge you with what everybody was doing. Well, I didn't do it, but you was with them. You came with them, charge. You listened to them. You know what I'm saying so. You in the company of thieves, they're gonna charge you with being a thief. You in a company of rapists, they're gonna charge you being a rapist. You in a company of murderers, they're gonna charge you with being a murderer. You're a company of drug dealers, they're gonna charge you with being a drug dealer. You better run for your life. These ain't your friends. And then when they get you in jail, they're gonna say, "Hey." uh, these same boys who say, hey, you my you my boy, you my dog, you my friend, you my whatever. Soon as the police said, well, uh, was charged that? Oh, yeah, charged with that. It wasn't me. It was charged idea. You know what I'm saying? They can show you how much a friend they was. So anytime somebody enticed you to sin with them, 
You better run like 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 your life depending on it. Mom, mom, mom. All right. So Sheila says, Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. That's some strong blessed word. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God is good. And then she also says, Consent thou not with sinners. All right. Good wisdom, counsel, and advice. Hallelujah. So um, yeah, there's a lot more that can be said there about that topic, but Prophet Charles covered it all very well. Um, I do want to look at this right here, verse 5, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5, a wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. So no matter how rich you get, no matter how uh, healthy, fit, or whatever um, you are attempting to attain at the time, there's still more to learn, okay? I know a lot about helping people get jobs, but what? I'm still learning, all right? Uh, the environment changes. Uh, the world continues to change. There's more and more learning. And then when we're talking about learning God's word, just because you, most people have not read the Bible in its entirety. Most people have not read it uh, read the New Testament in its entirety. Most people have never read the book of Romans, but even after you do read the Bible uh, or a certain book one time, you don't know everything that's in that book. Uh, Brother Kenneth E. Hagin, uh, he read the Bible 250 times, all right, and there were still things uh, that he would say he, he didn't even know was in there. All right, so the word of God is alive, all right? And you it's a continual process of learning of God. My, 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 my. Woo-wee. All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Let's move on. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get our writing in. Um, let's just take four minutes to 5.55 a.m. Central Standard Time. Let us write the vision. Now, what are you believing God for uh, to happen within the next 30 to 60 days? Okay, and if you're not believing for anything in particular, we've got you something to work on right here. I'm so thankful and grateful. I receive 31,000 U.S. dollars a month for my personal use and enjoyment. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. So I was being mistreated, lied to, lied on, lied about uh, at a particular job back in 2018. I began writing something similar to this, but I only uh, thought that 10,000 a month was uh, possible. Well, I, I also was not consistent. I should have been consistent, but I was not. Okay. Excuse me, by stripes on him. By 2021, that year, uh, I brought in over 185,000. I'm not bragging on me. I'm not boasting in myself. I'm boasting in the Lord. I'm letting you know what God will do for you if you uh do what he says and really and truthfully god doesn't have to do quote unquote anything for you to get rich all you have to do is do what he said in his word and do what he tells you to do specifically god doesn't have to quote unquote do anything for you to be healed you just have to follow the instructions for healing in the bible um, which is uh um, Summarize in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 27. All right. John chapter 6, verse 63. And 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. All right. Now, God does, quote unquote, do things, mean miracles and intervene on our behalf. But and there's nothing wrong with receiving a miracle. But we don't want to have to have a miracle uh, every uh, month for the rent. We want to use our faith, all right, in God's word so that the money is continuously coming, okay? I don't want to need a miracle every three months at the hospital. I want to be reading my healing scriptures and then eating the edible plants that the Bible told me to eat, 
on the first page of the book, Genesis chapter one, verse 29. All right. And we're talking about fruits, vegetables, beans, berries, melons, um, root tubers, seeds, things of that nature. All right. So thank God that he does do things. He does do miracles. But my goodness, wouldn't it be good to just be re consistently receiving blessings by faith? Ma, 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 ma. Ooh, wee. All right, we got 60 more seconds here, and then we'll move forward. Uh, I need to be getting ready. I need to be getting ready for uh, our next segment here. While I'm talking, uh, actually, it's on one. Let's see here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Prophet Deborah says, standing on the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. All right. Um, All right, go ahead and wrap up whatever you are uh, writing right now. And uh, I am going to uh, um, pull up uh, our verses that we're going to be working on today. Uh, but before we do that, I want to make sure that you are doing step six that you have your alarm set and that you are saying what you're believing for God from God right now. So the previous step was 30 to 60 days. All right. But you still write it as if you have it now, but this is something that you are believing to happen right now. All right. And you need to say this out loud. So uh, Lydia, uh, she was praying for what she wanted. All right. She was meditating on God's word concerning what she wanted, uh, saying it things in her mind. That's good and great. That's wonderful. But she began to say, all right, that's Mark 11, 23. In addition to the praying, she began to say, in addition to the biblical um, meditation, and then the $3,500 extra showed up. So I want you to say thank you, Father God, for my $150,000 a year remote dream job with the kind supervisors, managers, and directors in Jesus' name. All right. And you need to be saying it at a minimum every hour on the hour that's, uh, that you're awake. Now, if you would like, to, <laughs> like for it to show up before then, you need to say it more than that. All right. So instead of worrying, instead of being nervous, Instead of wondering how the bills are going to get paid, you got to start declaring what out of your mouth, out loud, what God's word says. Let's see here. Where can I, administrative account says, where can I get the list of the steps from? Uh, it is in the description right now. Uh, good, sir. It is in the uh, description right now. It's at medium.com forward slash at sign how to be healed TV. There's a couple of other really important articles on there uh, as well. Okay. All right. Now, step seven, uh, is we've, we've gone through this before. Um, the people in the Zoom chat. Step seven is going over these scriptures. Now, these aren't a total of 300, all right, but these are some uh, prosperity scriptures to get you started, okay? To get you started. And um, there are 300 in the Bible that are prosperity promises uh, or scriptures about people who uh, receive God's prosperity. Then there's a uh, scholars tell me about 2000 um, scriptures on money and possessions in the Bible. Um, also, uh, step zero 
Step zero. I put that at the end because if I put it at the beginning, nobody would want to read the steps. Are you a tither? Are you giving, uh, paying, returning 10% off of your income to either a minister, ministry, um, church, uh, or a uh, Bible-based organization? Okay. Uh, that's very, very important. Uh, if you're looking for somewhere to tithe, you can tithe here. Uh, if not, tithe somewhere. Tithe somewhere. My goodness. All right, let's go ahead and look at our focus. Uh, we've been in the book In Him. Uh, the importance of this book is that once you know who you are in Christ, the syndrome will not be able to convince you to sabotage yourself. Lord have mercy. Uh, do we have any volunteers in the Zoom chat that would like to read our focus? Any volunteers? All right. All right, give us some, a little bit more volume, please, Prophet Charles. Well, you see, faith's confessions create realities. As far as God is concerned, Everything you have or are in Christ is so. He has done it. Everything the Bible says is ours, is ours legally. The Bible is a legal document sealed by the blood of Jesus. However, it is you, your believing it and your confessing it, which makes it re a reality to you. God wants us to enjoy and know the reality of what he has provided for us. And his word tells us how to do it. Kenneth E. Hagan from page nine of the book in him. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory be to God. Ooh I'm going to give me one moment here. And we're going to load up our first scripture. Uh, I am going to. Um, put the link to the seven steps. It's already in the description, but I'll also put it in the, the chat there. Uh, and now let's go ahead and load up our first verse from the in him, what chapters for, uh, excuse me, in him scriptures for today. Uh, and that will be John... Uh, 14, 20, John 14, 20, uh, I'll get, I'll get it started here. Uh, at that day, you will know that I am in my father and you in me and I in you. So ladies and gentlemen, you have got to know that uh, we are in Christ and Christ is in us. So anytime that you're faced with uh, any type of um, challenge, you should come to the realization that you have already got the victory here. You may have to ask God, what's the next steps? You may have to study your word to see what the promises are concerning that issue. But when you come up uh, to something that's difficult, you don't automatically say, I can't do it. All right. What is it that Jesus can't do? Uh, nothing. Uh, of course, God can't lie. But any good thing that God uh, wants to do, he does. Uh, uh, of course, uh, we see uh, uh, in the Bible that, of course, everyone who came to Jesus got healed. Uh, but we do uh, see an ex one example uh, when he could there do no work because of their unbelief. All right, but as long as you believe what all things are possible to him that believes. So um, when I first heard that people were making uh, over a hundred thousand dollars, you know, it took some mind expansion. I had to renew my mind that that was possible. 
when I heard people were making 150,000. Oh my goodness. But once you uh, understand that with Jesus, you have access to all good things, then no longer should you be frightful, self-doubting, in unbelief, thinking it's not possible, it can't happen, self-disqualifying, no, 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 with Jesus, you can accomplish every good goal. Now, it's best for you to go ahead and ask God what he wants you to do, because there's going to be an automatic empowerment there for you to do it, okay? But uh, we do know that it is God's will for you to be healed. The question is, what steps would you like me to take, Father God, uh, for me to receive my healing? And while you're waiting on his direction, you take the steps that are in the Bible. Same thing with your prosperity. Lord, I know that you want me wealthy. The Bible teaches you want me wealthy so that I can help others. So what steps do I need to take to be wealthy? And while you're waiting on that answer, you take the steps that are in the Bible. All right, let's see here. Um, uh, all right, Sheila says, all things are possible with God. Hallelujah, he is able. Hallelujah, and I, want, I agree with wholeheartedly what you want to say, but I want to give y'all a little nugget here, a little gem. All right, the first level is believing that he's able. You got to believe he's able. But just because he's able, that does not have anything to do with you, honestly. The next thing you have to believe is that he will. Now, what do we mean he will? It is his will. You got to believe it's his will for you to be healed. You've got to believe it's his will for you to be rich. You got to believe it's uh, his will for you to have mental health. Uh, to have joy, energy, vigor, vitality, whatever it is, you got to believe it's his will. If you don't believe that, you won't even try to attain it. All right, F.F. Bosworth said, faith begins with the will of God is known. So if you don't know it's God's will, all right, then you, you're not going to be getting a lot of stuff because you're not even going to try. All right. Um, the third level is you got to believe that he's already done it. Did you see that? So you've got to believe that you were healed. You have got to believe that God has made you rich. You've got to believe, uh, you know, that you already have that job. So number one, he's able. Hallelujah. That's good. Most people, some people don't believe he's able. All right. Next problem is most people don't believe it's his will for them. Okay. They may believe, yeah, God heals some people sometime, but they don't believe it for them right now. Okay. Number three, you've got to believe that he's done it. It's already done. Jesus said it's finished. Boy, write that down, write that down, write that down. All right. Um, let's go. Uh, Precious, can you read uh, John chapter 15, verse four, please? Yes. Uh, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So we've got to abide in Christ. We have to be living right and getting in his word. And then that's how we're going to produce fruit produce the things that we need to produce in life, both tangible things and intangible things, by what? Abiding. Providence Deborah says, trusting and believing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right. Now, our next verse is actually John chapter 15, verse 5. So I'll pull that up here. All right. 
Uh, let me ask uh, Brother Shimon, can you read uh, that for me, please? Yes, brother. John 15, chapter 5, verse. I am the wine, you are the branches, he who abides in me, and I in him bears much fruits, for without me you can do nothing. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, so you have to see yourself as being connected to Christ. All right. Once you are, whenever you're making a connection to God, uh, whether that be through Bible reading, praising and worshiping God out of your mouth, uh, whether that be praying um, for others, uh, whether that be making biblical Bible-based declarations, uh, whether that be, you know, going over this, all the wealth scriptures, all the healing scriptures, the very life of Jesus Christ is coming into you. Ooh, Shanat, God bless you, God bless you, in Jesus' mighty name, all right? So we want to do these amazing things. I know people um, who uh, are saved, or I, I, I believe they're saved, Lord help us. Uh, they, they got saved at one time, for sure. Um, but they want to accomplish things in life without God. Why would you want to do that? They want to get the $150,000 job, but they don't want to read any prosperity scriptures. Okay. They want to, uh, they say they want to get better, but they don't want to read any healing scriptures. How? How? So uh, without Jesus, we're not going to be able to accomplish our goals. All right. You're going to need supernatural help to do what you uh, want to do that is good in this life. So uh, not all, but many celebrities, quote unquote, uh, musicians, actors, and other famous people, what they have supernatural help from Satan. Okay. All right. We don't want no help from Satan. All right. Because Satan requires a dead sacrifice. Unfortunately, uh, almost every day you're hearing in the news about some celebrity that died uh, in some type of horrible event or one of their family members, something horrible that's happened to them, okay? On the other hand, God requires a living sacrifice for you to live holy, righteous, sanctified, well-pleasing, in his sight. Ooh Your question of God should be, am I well pleasing? Mama, mama, mama. All right, let's go um, to our next verse. What's our next verse here in, in this book, in him? Um, Lord, help me, I've, I've uh, lost my uh, position. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll search by the verse I just read. How about that? Give me one second. All right, there, there we go. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so um, the next verse is actually verse 7. But we're going to read six and seven. Okay. Verse six and seven. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Minister Robert, can you read this? If any, you, sir? Yes, sir. If anyone do not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. All right. So if you're, uh, there's three levels here of problems. If you don't abide, this is talking to Christians now. Uh, John's writing to believers. If you, number one, you get cast out. That don't sound good. Then we start to actually see some effects, some withering. 
all right? Nothing should be withering in your life. Uh, it, it could be an indication that there's something wrong with your relationship with God if your money is withering, if your health is withering, uh, if your peace of mind is withering. Well, anything in your life that's withering, I'm not saying it's always the case, but I'm saying you need to check in with God. Lord, am I in right standing with you? Okay. Then if you know you're in right standing with God, then you know that it's Satan that's to blame, which is typically who the problem is. Then you can begin resisting him, binding, rebuking, and following the instructions in the Bible for uh, fruitfulness in that area. Hallelujah. And you'll see a harvest. All right. Then number three, this is talking specifically about people that are not abiding in him. They gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. So what's the fire, people? By strikes on hill. So we've got um, a lot of Christians. Uh, myself was one of them who was told that you just pray one prayer and you good forever. No, ma'am, no, sir. You must abide in Jesus. All right. If you're not abiding in him, of course, there's grace, which actually is an empowerment to get the good things you don't deserve. And then there's mercy, which is uh, you not getting the bad things you do deserve. But we don't know where that line is, where you get to the point where you are thrown into the fire. So that means we need to do our bestest. I know it's not a word. We need to do our best to stay far away from it, what uh, Paul says is being disqualified. All right. So uh, this was this verse. They didn't put this verse in the book, um, but I want to make sure you know this thing goes both ways. There's blessings for abiding. And then if you're not abiding, if it goes on too long, it's going to be a very bad day on Judgment Day. Now let's go to verse seven. All right. Uh, Sheila says, examine ourselves. Stay with in Jesus. Who you with? Are you with Jesus? Or the other? And she's got the fire emoji there and the, the sad face. Lord have mercy. All right. So, um, woo, my, 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 my. We don't want to get comfortable in living a lifestyle, patterns, and practices of sin. Lord have mercy. And uh, this is another reminder. Okay. Um, do not kill yourself. Number one, God loves you. And whatever is wrong with your life, it can be fixed with his word. Number two, if you die in your sin through self-deletion, how are you going to ask for forgiveness for that? All right, so God can have mercy on who he wants to have mercy on, but who would commit a crime knowing that they headed toward the judge's chamber? Come on. Come on. All right. Um, and again, I, I'm in great. I feel great. Everything's wonderful. So if they say uh, I killed myself, they're alive. Somebody tried to take me out. That's why I read my Proverbs 91 every day. But there was a time when Satan had tried to get me to self-delete. But Lord have mercy. I'm so glad I didn't. I would have missed all of this uh, blessing and goodness if I had to done that. So if you are depressed, uh, that means that something is depressing uh, you. All you got to do is stop whatever is depressing you from depressing you and the problem solved. So I'm here for you. Uh, there's many people um, that want you to be here, and I'm one of them. All right. And I want you to know that if things are bad, let's look at it logically. It can't get no worse. If you had rock bottom, all you can do is go up. All right. God has amazing plans, good plans for you. Ooh -wee. Get outside, get in some sun. 
walk a little, start eating some mangoes and, and, and call somebody, all right? Reach out to somebody to encourage you. Don't give up, do not cave in and do not quit. Ooh, I can't get it off of this for some reason. Satan uh, tries to get people who God is going to use greatly to destroy themselves. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So Satan tries to make you the weapon against yourself. You're, you're destined for greatness. Ooh, my, 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 my. You're destined for greatness. Let's go to verse seven. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. So a lot of people pray, 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 pray. And they say, oh, prayer doesn't work. Or I didn't give my answer to my prayer. Well, verse seven, John chapter 15, verse seven. Uh, are you abiding in God? Are you abiding, excuse me, in Jesus? And then number two, are you reading scriptures? that have to do with what you're asking God for. All right, so number one, are you living holy, righteous, in a process of sanctification, toward Christ, headed toward Christ-like, striving toward Christ-like perfection? All right. Number two, are you reading the Bible in general? And then are you specifically reading the scriptures that promise you what you want? Then number three, you can ask for what you want. And for number four, you will receive it. All right. So it does this and it shall be done for you. So we want God to do this, do that, do the other. But many of us aren't living right. And it's a daily struggle. It's a daily fight. You have got to fight the good fight of faith. You have got to tell, say, no, leave in Jesus mighty name. Don't you ever come back. All right, then you've got to read the word. We don't know why want to read the word. Then we actually, would you believe that there's some people that won't ask God for what they want? They say, oh, God knows my heart. Well, that's not a good thing. That's never a good thing in the Bible. I've never found, if somebody finds any reference to God knowing your heart in the Bible, that's a good thing, you let me know, but I haven't found it. All right, I read the Bible all the way through four times, working on number five. It's not in there. And if it is, I want you to let me know because I need to learn some more, all right? You ask what you desire, so hold on, desire. That means you gotta make a decision. What do you want? You ask some people what they're believing God for, they can't tell you. You ask some people what kind of job they want, they can't tell you. You even ask them what, how much money do you wanna make on the job, they can't tell you. Specific numbers, specific um, requests, and it shall be done to you, for you. And it shall be done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, Sheila says, I'm with Jesus. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Woo. She says, uh, <laughs> that made me laugh. My, my lovely. She's calling Jesus her lovely. Boy, that's all right with me. That's all right. Ma, 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 ma. He's my Jesus. Who Jesus belongs to me. Woo-wee. And then she says, hallelujah. Looks like she's saying to the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves. Whew, over everyone connected with us. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're making very good time. I think we're being very productive this morning. Let's go ahead. Um, thank you uh, for reading that, Minister Robert. And let's go now to verse eight, verse eight. I'm gonna ask um, Lakeisha, are you able to read verse eight for us? John chapter 15, verse eight. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. So us bearing fruit glorifies God, the Father. 
all right and it identifies us as jesus's disciples so we know we already know about the fruit of the spirit uh that's we really need to be bearing what fruit in that area all right uh, and then also as we are accomplishing our goals as we are doing work for god's kingdom as we are helping others speaking a kind word to others walking in forgiveness not walking in unforgiveness but walking in forgiveness today i'm prepared to forgive somebody lord jesus help us walking in the god kind of love that's that greek word agape all right now english has one word for love whereas most other languages have multiple words so we know what kind of love you're talking about all right so you've got to have discernment you have to ask God for wisdom. When this person say they love me, what kind of love are they talking about? Ooh, wee. Ma, 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 ma. So let's just make our confession. Thank you, Father God, that I bear much fruit. Thank you, Father God, that I bear much fruit in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, looks like we've got some more people that have uh, joined the stream. Thank you so very much. Please go ahead and click that like button and then leave a one in the chat. And I'll call your name out at the end uh, as we pray. And if you have a specific prayer request, go ahead and type that in now. We're actually getting close, very close to prayer time. Um, Thank you so much for joining us and God bless you. All right, I need to find my position. There we go. This will be our uh, last verse for today. I believe everybody in the Zoom chat has read except for Prophet Charles Walker. We'll ask you, sir, to uh, read John chapter 16, verse 33. Uh, can you read that for us, sir? These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So anytime you get depressed, and it's not just you got depressed, something is depressing you. We bind and rebuke the spirit of depression, the spirit of loathing. We bind and rebuke the spirit uh, of heaviness. In Jesus' name, leave now, never return. We receive the joy of the Lord. We receive the peace of God. All right, so in Christ, I have what? Peace. The world, what's in the world? Tribulation. Problems. All right? But I can, I have to make the decision that I'm going to be of good cheer because uh, it says, what does it say? I have overcome the world. So in Christ, I have overcome the world. How have I overcome the world? Because I'm in Christ and Christ overcame the world. Ma, 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 ma. I know y'all think I'm taking liberties with the scripture, but I'm going to show you uh, in first john so we in saint john right now first uh, in first john we're going to get some commentary Woo! on this passage right here glory be to god i'm looking for it give me one moment this scripture jumped out at me and, and won't sit down Woo first john chapter five Verse four through five, New King James Version. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. So you overcome the world through faith. Whatever problems you're facing right now, you overcome it. How? By faith. Ooh, 
Now we remember that faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. Uh, it comes from reading the report. That's verse, uh, excuse me, that's both Romans chapter 10, verse 16 and verse 17. All right. Then you have got to believe what you read. Belief means to be convinced and fully persuaded. That comes through meditating on the word. That's in uh, Joshua chapter one. Joshua, oh, excuse me, Psalm chapter one as well. Both Joshua chapter one and Psalm chapter one. Then you got to memorize the word. Um, and when I say that, if you meditate on the word long enough, you're going to memorize it. Okay. That word have I hidden in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. All right, and then faith speaks. Faith says something. All right, it was not until Lydia began to say, did the money, the extra 35, extra, extra $3,500 showed up. We glory, glory be to God. All right, uh, did anybody in the Zoom chat have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you uh, wanted to share uh, before we go into prayer? And does anybody in the YouTube chat have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything you would like to share? Uh, before we go into prayer, I do want to remind you that we will be having healing communion Friday morning. Okay, 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. Please prepare your communion elements. Uh, a cup, it could have water in it. It could have, um, you know, fruit juice, or grape juice, uh, and then uh, some type of um, food representing the bread. It might be a wafer, a saltine cracker, actual bread. Uh, if you do not have those things or you cannot eat them where you are located, we will still, we will still um, welcome you to a communion. You'll be able to participate because we will be declaring, all right, um, Bible-based declarations that coincide with communion. So I look forward to seeing you all then. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I pinned it in the chat. Uh, after this, I want you to listen to the teaching uh, behind or the video uh, on the Lord's Prayer. And then I want you to put it to the test. Start listening to that as you go to sleep. Uh, or if you need someone to pray with you, that video will pray the Lord's Prayer with you. Uh, you might want to get a hand tally to count how many times you've said it, or you can write it with a pencil and a paper, or, or there are cell phone apps that will do the counting uh, with you. You just, just click on the phone and it'll count uh, that number. I recommend at least 100 times a day. All right, that'll take you an hour. Uh, and if there's something serious, an emergency, a uh, mountain of a problem, quote, all right, then you can go ahead and do it 500 times. And that's out loud, people. That's out loud, audibly. But go ahead and um, turn off my camera. And I want you to pray with me. We've got some prayer requests. Uh, someone sent me a direct message prayer request. And I'm guessing that you do want me to pray uh for that out loud okay they said yes just making sure all right and then we also have our prayer requests in the youtube chat and then i have a list of prayer requests uh that i go over as well so let's pray father god we just thank you we praise you we thank you that you are good and you are god we have made it who hallelujah past monday some people dread Mondays, but we thank you that you are helping us, uh, you are leading us, and you're guiding us, all right, to develop uh, days where every day is what? A Friday. We have joy, peace, 
uh, and uh, good cheer, no matter what day it is. Woo! Thank you, Father God, that the day does not determine our mood. Woo! We control our feelings, our emotions, and uh, the mood uh, with your word, and that changes my environment. Woo! Hallelujah to Jesus. I don't let the environment change me. I change the environment with a smile, hallelujah, with the joy of Jesus, with the peace of God. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we just thank you and praise you uh, for Sheila. We thank you for everything that you are doing in her life. We thank you you're developing her to produce much fruit in every area, every area of life. And we thank you and praise you. Lord, uh, bless Dorothy. Uh, give her the desires of her heart. Every time I go to pray for Dorothy, Lord, whatever it is that she um, is believing you for, we call it in now. We call it in now. In Jesus' mighty name, with God, nothing is impossible. If we truly believe with Jesus, nothing is impossible. If we truly believe and we believe, we believe we receive all good things pertaining to life and godliness. Lord, bless LG, bless him the more and the more. Lord, I thank you for the development in him as well. And we thank you that he uh, is keeping his eye, uh, his eyes, his, his focus, his vision uh, on the next thing that you have for him. He's preparing himself for even more. Hallelujah even more of your goodness, even more of your glory, even more uh, of your use for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for our prophetess Deborah. Lord, uh, we, we need a new dream, Lord. We, we need a new vision. Open the eyes uh, of her vision, Lord. Uh, give her more dreams, more visions, more revelations. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for her. Bless her in every area. Lord, we thank you uh, for happy. Lord, we thank you um, that you are going to complete the good work that you started in her. Glory be to God. Glory be to God that you are going to complete the good work that you started in her. Lord, we're thanking you for uh, administrative account. Lord, help, help, help. Lord, we ask for supernatural backup. Hallelujah. We ask for uh, human backup, people that you would send to help uh, that don't have any ulterior motives, but are going to be um, a pivotal, excuse me, a pivotal increase for administrative account. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you for Prophet Charles. Lord, lead him and guide him. Give him the wisdom. Give him the understanding. Give him the knowledge. Tell him the way that he should go. Uh, tell him his next steps. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father God. Lord, we thank you for Shanat. Lord, whoo, show yourself strong in this situation that Shanat is navigating. Lord, uh, some of the uh, um, evangelists would say, Lord, show off. So we're asking you, Lord, to display your power, display your glory, display your wisdom. Woo, we in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're asking you for Shanat to have direction on establishing multiple streams of income. I pray that for everyone uh, that is listening in the Zoom chat, everyone that is uh, on YouTube uh, watching live, everyone that uh, will watch this replay. And Lord, we move and ask for even more that you will help us set up multiple passive streams of income, Father God. We pray that same prayer for Sheila, Father God. Lord, give us direction. Give us instruction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're welcome in this place. 
Breathe through our lungs, think through our mind, speak through our mouth. In Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name, Lord, we're praying for uh, Minister Robert, Father God, Lord, help him to be diligent in ministry. Thank you for the uh, information. Thank you for the information that you have given him, the word that you gave him, Lord, on the next thing that he needs to do to move forward in his finances, move forward in life. We thank you, Lord, that you know, hallelujah to Jesus, what we need and what we're missing. And we humble ourselves and we ask you to tell us, Lord, what we need to do. Lord, we believe we received that $150,000 remote scrum job. And we pray yet for a second one to be worked remotely. In Jesus' mighty name, we receive all the government contracts and the workers to do it, the people to help us achieve these goals. We thank you and praise you for it. In Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' mighty name, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Father God, we just thank you and praise you uh, for LG. Lord, uh, bless and keep. I'm praying for our wood right now, Lord. Lead and God, Lord, praying for uh, our cook. Lord, help, help, help in every area. Lord, we're thanking you for SIBO right now, thanking you that uh, she walks into her divine destiny, the place that you have appointed for her to go, a wealthy place, a place overflowing with milk and with honey. Lord, we thank you for Guana, bless her, encourage her, keep her uh, encourage and help her to encourage herself in the Lord. Lord, we thank you again for Lydia. We thank you for all of the miracles that you are uh, displaying in her life. We're thanking you for all of the uh, manifestations of your goodness that she's receiving by following and obeying your word. Woo! Lord, we're praying for Lakeisha on today. We're thanking you in retrospect that her mom has returned to church. We claim her mom's complete deliverance and full salvation with all the rights, benefits, and privileges thereof. Lord, I pray for a holy boldness upon Lakeisha that she will take what's hers in the spirit realm, Father God. We take right now the $150,000 customer success manager job we receive it in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Lord, we thank you. Uh, we call in her new car, her new home. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Lord, we thank you for Jericho. We thank you. Uh, we break in the name of Jesus, the spirit of containment. Hallelujah. The spirit of sloth. In any and all spirits that are trying to keep her just right exactly where she is. And, and that are trying to stop her from moving into the next level of life you have for her. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We put on the whole armor of God and we cover uh, Jericho in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we thank you for Tammy. Lord, open the eyes of her understanding. Give her the mind of Christ. Lord, uh, we thank you for um, ambition, uh, a righteous ambition to uh, move forward in Jesus, 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 mighty, mighty, mighty name. We thank you for Jennifer. We thank you for the positive developments that are happening on her behalf that have happened and that will happen in Jesus, mighty, mighty, mighty name. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for Brother Carlos, Father God. Um, we uh, surround him with the blood of Jesus. We draw the bloodline around him and we say that he is protected. His family, his friends, everything connected with him is what? Protected in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that he receives the lump sum amount of money that he requested 
um, so that he can do good works, Father God. We thank you and praise you. We call that money in now, in Jesus' name. Lord, uh, bless, 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 bless Mikhail. Father God, thank you for the example that she is. We thank you for Robin, the example that Robin is. Lord, we pray for joy. We pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Deliverance for um, herself and for her brother. We call the whole family delivered. We claim their complete deliverance and full salvation, including all the rights, all the benefits, and all the privileges thereof in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for thee, open the eyes of understanding. Thank you for peace. Thank you for joy in the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God, that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. We thank you that we don't go to the cigarette. We don't go to the marijuana. We don't go to the cocaine. We don't go to the heroin. We don't go to the pharmaceutical narcotic pills to pop. We don't go to fornication. We don't go to adultery. We don't go to the pornography. We don't go to whatever the world is using to cope and get comfort. We praise and worship you, Father God, and we receive the comfort the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, Lord, we're praying for Kamal in Jesus' name. We thank you that with you, that nothing is impossible. We thank you for his $100,000 uh, U.S. Uh, job working remotely overseas. We thank you for Brother Shamoon. Lord, we are thanking you uh, in Jesus' mighty name uh, for all of his equipments, Father God, all the equipment that he needs, uh, the equipment that the uh, other orphanages that he works with needs, uh, the, especially, Father God, uh, the, the fan, um, especially, Lord, the, the water wells, um, the internet connections, everything that the orphanages that he is in um, connection with need, we receive it right now. Lord, we're praying for Mario, Father God. Lord, take control of his mind. Uh, take control of his heart. Let him have a real um, experience with you. Remind him, Lord, as humans, we don't have the memory um, that you have. We, we have uh, problems uh, understanding and seeing patterns, Father God. We have problems understanding cause and effect. Lord, help us empower our minds to remember that I don't want to go this way again. Woo! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, bless Sister Maria. We thank you for the, all the equipments uh, that she needs, that they come to her right now. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. We thank you, Lord, for Prophetess Christina. We thank you uh, for the latest uh, video that she was at, uh, able to publish. Lord bless her, keep her, everyone connected to her ministry, everyone connected to How to Be Healed TV, everyone connected to us. We speak the blessings of God, uh, the blessings um, of Abraham upon them in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, that we put on the whole armor of God in Jesus, 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 mighty, mighty, mighty name. Woo, we thank you and praise you. Lord, we're praying for Robert C. Calling in that 150,000 remote uh, project management job, Lord. Is there anything too hard for you? Nope, nope, it's nothing too hard. We're thanking you for uh, Travis, Lord. We're thanking you for Kendricks. Uh, we're thanking you for Kimberly, Father God. Uh, we're asking for advancement for them in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, thank you for Jasmine. Uh, thank you for granting all of her good requests. Lord, we thank you that she uh, hears your voice clearly in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we uh, bless RG as well, Father God. Uh, we thank you for Ernest, 
Father God, allow him to achieve his good goals, Father God. We are thanking you, uh, Lord, for precious. Lord, we're, we're thanking you in retrospect that you stopped the miscarriage. We are thanking you in advance for a healthy baby, healthy delivery, healthy mom. And we uh, command in the name of Jesus that her bones uh, do not slide out of joint, that the bones only do what they were designed to do by you. And they only do it when they were designed by you to do it. In Jesus, 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 mighty name, we thank you for Jakari. Lord, 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 we are um, calling, Father God, for a $100,000 a year job. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I haven't heard from Sheldon. Lord, bless Sheldon. Keep him. Um, rescue him wherever he is, whatever is going on. We are standing for that $200,000 remote job in Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. All right, I already prayed for Sibo. I'm not sure if you heard that or not, Sibo, but we stand in agreement uh, with Sibo that all of her good desires uh, come to pass, that God gives her favor, that when people see her resume, they say, we've got to hire her expeditiously. Right now, forget the interview. Just send her the offer letter. We thank you, Father God, for favor for her and for everyone um, that is on the Zoom call. Everybody that's uh, on the YouTube live stream and everyone who watches this uh, or listens to this in any other format in the future. Lord, we thank you for favor that people do the best for us with um, the power that they have, regardless of any norms, traditions, rules, regulations, policies, procedures, edicts, or even laws with the legal authority that is vested in them, that they do what's best for us in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that Jesus grew in stature and favor with you, Father God, and with man. And we thank you, Father God, that we grow in stature and in favor with you, Father God, and with man. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' not mighty name. Now, Lord, before we end this prayer, we um, take the name of Jesus and we break the power of Satan over all our friends, all our family, Everyone we go to work with, we take the name of Jesus and break the power of Satan over them. Satan, you take your hands off of them in Jesus' name. We claim their complete deliverance and their full salvation with all the rights, benefits, and privileges thereof. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to open the eyes of their understanding give them the mind of Christ. And I'm just feeling led right now, Lord. We pray for the witches, the warlocks, the uh, witch doctors. We pray for those who have been deceived, those who are practicing dark arts, those who are practicing new age, those who are practicing uh, the law of attraction, but are not pointing back to your word and giving you credit um, for what is so-called the law of attraction. Lord, we give you glory for any good thing in our life. And we are praying for these people who have been deceived. We take the name of Jesus and break the power of Satan over them. Satan, take your hands off of them. Father God, we're asking you to have a real um, tangible experience that you give to them so that they that if they continue with what they are doing the, the witches the warlocks the the witch doctors those in the new age that they are headed to destruction father god we don't want anyone to go to hell father god so we claim their complete deliverance and full salvation we ask you to open the eyes of their understanding and give them the mind of Christ, Father God, give them a sound mind so that they can make a decision 
to follow the real light. Jesus is the light. Ooh, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. We thank you, Father God. Now, Lord, we pray for all of those that are in the hospital right now, those that are in the hospice, uh, even those outside of those facilities that are near death, whether they know it or don't know it. We're asking you to have mercy, Father God. We're asking you for a hospice miracle. We are asking you, Father God, to extend their life. The word teaches that healing is a mercy. So we say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on them. Father, God, send workers and laborers to lead them to salvation through Jesus Christ so that yet another soul may be saved from the gates of hell. Lord, 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 we need the user help us. And finally, we pray, Father God. Well, I shouldn't say finally, should I? Uh, as we continue, Father God, <laughs> we pray um, uh, right now. And we um, declare, we bind, we rebuke, we disallow, we forbid the decision from being made by everyone we know, everyone we know of. Everyone who knows us, everyone who knows of us, we bond, forbid, rebuke, and disallow them from making the decision to go to hell. Father God, send workers and laborers to lead them to salvation through Jesus Christ so that everyone that we've ever come in contact with will be forever connected with us for eternity in heaven, in heaven. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, we examine ourselves to see whether we are in the faith. Father God, search our hearts and see if there's any wicked thing in us. See if there's anything that offends in us. Lord, we uh, do not want to go to hell. Lord, let us know what we need to change, what we need uh, to start doing, what we need to stop doing. Father God, we receive your prosperity. We thank you that it belongs to us. We receive your healing. We thank you that it belongs to us. We receive freedom from addictions, or whether that be food, drugs, or bad behavior. Deliverance belongs to us. We receive, hallelujah, peace of mind. We receive Hallelujah, I'm hearing this, a spirit of forgiveness. Ooh, Jesus help us. Uh, we receive, Father God, a long life. Uh, however, the most important thing is, Father God, we want to go to heaven after this life. So if there's anything that we must change, we're asking you right now to point it out to us, Father God, so that we might make certain that at our judgment, Father God, it will not be a bad day. We thank you, Father God, after we die at 120 or later, uh, at a minimum of 120 years old of prosperity, of wealth, of health, of doing your work, of making a difference in this world, that when we die, that there will not be any arguments, won't be any fisticuffs or fights between the angels and the demons on which direction we go. We thank you that quick, fast, and in a hurry will be escorted by your angels into heaven. And we thank you, Father God, at our judgment that it won't be a long proceeding, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you will not have to look left to right uh, and tell the angel on your left, go get the book of his life, what he was supposed to do. And you won't tell the other angel, go get the book of his life, what he actually did. We thank you that there won't be any scholar, scholarly um, comparisons between the two. We thank you that there won't be any issue with seeing our name written in bold letters with shining lights inside of the Lamb's book of life. We thank you that our name will not be blotted out. Lord, we thank you that you will not say, depart from me. You worker of iniquity, I never knew you. 
We thank you, Father God, that you won't have to show everybody in heaven on the big flat screen TV what we did that we shouldn't have done, what we didn't do that we should have done. We thank you that you won't look deep inside of us and say, what is all that unforgiveness doing in there? Lord, we thank you that you will not say, well, you know what? You really should be in hell right now. But just because of my mercy, I am going to let you in, not with the well done, but with a just barely. No, 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 no. We thank you, Father God, at our judgment. When you see us, you'll wave us right through very expeditiously and say, well done. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And now, Lord, we know that uh, the punishment of hell is eternal, but the rewards of heaven are also eternal. So, Lord, we don't just want only a slip of salvation, just a garment to make sure that we are modest in heaven. No, we thank you that we'll have both the slip of salvation and uh, the robe of righteousness. We thank you, Father God, when we receive our reward, when we receive our crown, that we'll find Jesus and that we will lay prostrate at his feet and throw our crowns at his feet and say, hallelujah, salvation and glory. Thank you, Jesus. I made it over. Hallelujah, I made it over. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify your name. We lift you high. Woo, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Praise God. Praise God, amen. Do y'all have any questions, comments? or concerns, any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, any disagreements anybody wants to talk about. Uh, remember that I've pinned to the top of the chat, the Lord's Prayer fixes everything, that video. Um, and then that particular link is gonna take you to the comment testimony that we just received in, we discussed today about the lady who had a windfall of money and even a family member, her uh, sister was healed uh, and revived from the dead Ooh, and then healed, hallelujah to Jesus. All right, well, I don't see nothing else. Uh, love y'all in Christ, God bless you, God bless you in Jesus, mighty name. Go out there today, let's win. Uh, be prepared to forgive. Don't get upset. Don't let nobody trigger you. You control your emotions. You control your feelings. And any time that you have any worry, that's an opportunity for you to thank God for the promise in his word gives you the solution to that worry. All right. Now, love y'all in Christ. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus'